All right. What do you call a mushroom that buys all the drinks? A fun guy to be with. <laughs> ah, a fun guy to be with. Ah, ah. Ah, I kill me. Would you like any help? <laughs> Can I have Willie's meatloaf, Kate? No. Fine. If Willie isn't home by midnight, then can I have his meatloaf? Hi, honey. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dad. Can I have your meatloaf? No. Let Willie answer. Willie? No. Shoot. <laughs> honey, how was the union meeting? Well, they elected me picket captain. What does that tell you? Oh, you're going on strike? I'm afraid so. Just the thought of it gives me a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. Then meatloaf would only make you more queasy. <laughs> you want to explain this? Shoot bullets through me. I felt like a snack. <laughs> Pass the mustard. Can I help you with something? Now I know. Now I know who you remind me of. You remind me of my college roommate, Snow. And I thought Melmackian parents were cruel. <laughs> That was only his nickname. His real name was Dexter. Dexter Lurch the fourth. Then again, snout is nice. Snout used to go on these marathon eating binges late at night, Oreos, cheese whiz, anything he could get his hands on. How does that remind you of me? <laughs> Are you eating again? No. Still. Cake, 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 cake. We're saving it for Jake. Okay. He's not coming. Let's eat. He'll be here, Alf. He'll be here. Are you kidding? The kid's probably going up the river as we speak. They'll put him in solitary. Feed him bread and water topped by a delicious piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> Look, Jake may have some problems, but he's not going to be sent to prison. Yeah? Tell that to my cousin, pretty boy Shumway. He grew up on the south side of Melmac, the baddest part of the planet. If he didn't like your shoes, <laughs> Did you mean he'd shoot a person just because he didn't like his shoes? No. He'd just point at them and go... <laughs> so, any last meows? Huh? No? Then I'll see you in a few days. You're kind of small, aren't you? Well, at least you won't claw so much going down. Don't look at me like that. Oh, no. Oh, what's wrong with me? Maybe you have an ugly brother or sister in that box. Yeah, now you're ugly enough to eat. <laughs> What cats? Roast smells good, Mom. Great. Here you go, Alf. What's this? Supper. It's a joke, right? <laughs> it's a watercress salad. It's on your diet. Well, let's just take it off. <laughs> when you finish that, you can have some nice white rice and skinless broiled chicken. Oh, great. And maybe for dessert, I could have a bowl of wax. <laughs> Brian, ass pay the eat may and potatoes pay. Dad, you speak French. What did he say? 
He said he wants seconds on his salad. Look, I'm grateful for the help, but Melmachians can't crash diet like this. Sure they can. All it takes is willpower. That's not what I mean. We have to lose weight very, very slowly over a period of time, say, 13 years. Nice try. It's true. Crash dieting can cause an imbalance in my enzyme system. I could be subject to a chemical reaction that might make me revert back to my primal instincts. Alf, you pleaded with us to help you lose weight. Now, if you think I can be conned into letting you off the hook because of some ridiculous story like that, well, I'm a bigger fool than you are. Well, in that case, pass the gravy, fool. <laughs> Ooh, ah, oh, bacon grease. <laughs> Soup's on. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Don't wake the sleepwalker. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. You should be ashamed. <sighs> Don't yell at the sleepwalker. Very humiliating. Very humiliating. Alf, is that a cockroach on your shoulder? Oh, where? Where? Get it off! Get it off! I mean, where am I? Who am I? It's, it's all so confusing. Well, good night. Ah, feedback. Spread them. Oh. Hey, hey, am I the only one here with a salami in his trench coat? <laughs> this has been going on for for days. We're doing this for your own for your own good. Don't you remember? Don't you remember how you begged us to help you? Willie, I'm not kidding. I need food. Real food. I could feel my primitive instincts starting to kick in. Oh! <laughs> Who said that? Why do you insist on making an opera out of everything? Part of my boyish charm, I suppose. <laughs> so, where was I? You were saying something about your boyish charm, then you gird at Willie. <gasps> oh, no. I gird? <laughs> it's happening already. Once it starts, I'm afraid I'll have to hunt and kill fresh meat to replace my enzymes. Good night, Alf. Happy hunting. Fine. Don't believe me. I'm going to need a loincloth. <laughs> well, that cure didn't work. <laughs> Alf, I am sorry that you're going through this, but I do hope that your hiccups will be gone before the wedding tomorrow. <laughs> Alf, why don't you try holding your breath again? That should work. Okay. It's Trevor. Hey, take your hiccups. Get out of here. Fine. If he complains about the turkey bones in his yard, play dumb. <laughs>
Well, Alf, uh, this is all very nice. But... Yes, thank you, thank you. But the the only the only problem is problem schmoblem. Sit down and relax. Uh, the old Alfer's doing it all tonight. Alf. The cooking, the serving, the cleaning. Of course, once you two get into the bedroom, you're on your own. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, looks like the old Alpha is throwing us a surprise anniversary party. Just a little informal nothing. <laughs> Lobster pate. I thought you two were going out tonight. What? Well, uh, Alf, that's what we were trying to tell you. We have plans. We're going out to see Nicholas Nickleby. And uh, the tickets were very hard to get. We appreciate all the trouble you've gone to. I mean, Cutting roses so they look like radishes. And making pâté, and very good pâté, too. What, what, what's in it? Uh, let me guess. There's lobster, there's sour cream, but there's, there's something else. Play-Doh. <laughs> That's it. The fluorescent kind. I wanted it to be special. <laughs> Pasta primavera? I thought we were having spaghetti. It is spaghetti. It's spaghetti with broccoli and peas and zucchini and a light tomato cream sauce. Well, I like the sauce that Kate opens. <laughs> How come there's weeds in this salad? They aren't weeds. It's radicchio. The whole idea of you cooking is radicchio. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Well, hi, honey. You're, you're kind of late getting home. Yeah, Julie and I stayed after school to protest cheerleading tryouts. Well, why would you do that? I was protesting because I think cheerleading is a sexist exploitation of the concept of woman as perennial spectator. Julie was protesting because she was eliminated in the first round. <laughs> Pasta Primavera. You see, Lynn appreciates my cooking. Sure. Scrape off the vegetables and that pink stuff, and it's great. <laughs> Anything I can do to help? What's this stuff? <laughs> Will you stay out of that salad? <laughs> Yikes! The Radicchio's making a break for it. Alf, I want you to clean this mess up, and I want you to stay out of my way. Dad. What? I think your spaghetti's done. Oh. Here, here, here. Uh. Hi, Mom. Dinner is served. <laughs> Would you like some more potatoes? No. They're very tasty. He doesn't care about potatoes. Show him the vomit. <laughs> Willie, please. I'm trying to eat. Honestly, Larry, it, it isn't always quite like this. I have a little exercise that might work, guys. It's called roll reversal. Now, Willie, you become Alf, and Alf becomes Willie. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, I, I, I don't think so. Afraid of a little personal growth, perhaps? No, I'm not afraid. I just, I, I think it's silly. Come on, Willie, give it a try. Larry knows what he's doing. Yeah, come on, Dad. Alf does a great impression of you. Oh, all right. We wouldn't want to miss that. <laughs> OK, since, uh, since we're at the dinner table, let's just act like we would at the dinner table, and we can start off by you, Willie, being out. Food, food, give me more food. Uh, I haven't had a meal in, oh, a half an hour. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, Alf, no, no. No food for you. You already ate last month. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't sound like that. No, come on, Willie, you're doing I fine. Don't. Come on, keep going. All right. Blah. I finished my meal. Uh, I guess I'll watch TV while everybody else does the dishes. I think we watch enough TV in this house. No. We should do something more stimulating. I know. Let's conjugate verbs. No, how about... How about we just break things? Oh, no, no. That would be wrong. Wrong! Wrong! <laughs> All right, then. How about if we, um, how about if we eat the cat, then? 
How you doing, Lucky? <laughs> Sorry. Household rule number 856, subsection D, paragraph 2. We do not eat the cat. A rule smooths. I hate rules. I like... I like anarchy. Well, I don't believe in anarchy. It's much too spontaneous. Oh, look. Look how late it's getting. And I still have to lay out my clothes for the rest of the year. <laughs> Willie, I don't think that I can make it till sundown. Why don't we go away for the day? Good idea. Oh, come on, that's silly. Now, why don't we just tell Alf that he's won? Well, I'm for that. You've won. One, ma'am? The bed is off. You can turn in your, your whisk broom and your phony accent and let out a big burp and let's get on with it. Yeah, let her rip. What we're saying is we want the old Alf back. Please, I must insist that we follow this through. Isn't that one of the rules? To follow things through. Otherwise, we'd have chaos and our life would be impossible all right we're leaving <laughs> we'll see you at 6 14. 6 14. 6 14. that's when the sun goes down and that means pledge week is over and you can go back to being yourself where are we gonna go who cares as long as it's someplace dirty goodbye Al. Bye, Al. Bye, Al. see you after the metamorphosis oh sir william <laughs> is there some special meal you'd like for my last hurrah oh Oh, actually, there is one thing that Kate's always had a little trouble with. That's duck a la ronde. No problem. Shall I serve a nice, hearty burgundy? Let it be lovely. Count on it. Lily, are you coming? Oh, yeah, you bet. And, uh, we don't want anything fancy for dinner, either. <laughs> Lord, the gas is on. I forgot to light the oven. Oh, well, better late than never. Well, I guess we'll have to order in. <laughs> the great orange hunter stalks his prey. Ah, <laughs> oh, he sees it. The elusive loin of pork. The most prized catch in the Frigidari jungle. What's this? Elf, don't eat this. Why would I eat this? <laughs> Ever so deftly, the great orange hunter maneuvers his weapon. Once in position, he strikes! <laughs> Has the hunter angered the gods? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I won't eat pork. <laughs> Willie, just let me look at you. Kate. Funny, special Kate. <laughs> Lynn, why? Well, you're a woman now. Brian, is this the little boy I carried? <laughs> and Jake, what is a friend? A friend is Jake. <laughs> Let's all just be. You want to stay for breakfast, Jack? Okay. Here. 